Hi, I'm Brian Maid. It has been six months since the most destructive wildfire in California history ripped through Northern California, including among the hardest hit here in Coffee Park. Now, six months later, the signs of destruction are being replaced by signs of rebuilding. This is a strong community. I mean, this was, we were actually absolutely delivered a blow. Paul Lowenthal recalls that night six months ago like it was yesterday. As the assistant fire marshal for the Santa Rosa Fire Department, Lowenthal not only remembers the flames, but also knows firsthand the pain of losing his own home. His house, one of the nearly 9,000 structures that burned in the October wildfires. Santa Rosa literally woke up to a nightmare. Um, and we had, you know, the equivalent of a 30,000 acre wildfire on the back, on our back doorsteps that essentially wiped out 5% um, of our housing population in a matter of, of a couple hours um, and forced the evacuation of 100,000 plus people throughout the county. It was just a nightmare experience. Carl Horsher also lost his home in the Tubbs fire. It was mass hysteria. People were just like freaking out. Um, that fire was like minutes away from all of us. Uh, when it came, we heard explosions. We heard just uh, people just panicking. Today, Carl and Paul and thousands of others like them aren't so much looking back, but rather looking forward. To go from thousands and thousands of structures that were involved, involved in fire six months ago to where we're at today is incredible. Six months after the landscape of this community was changed forever, the signs of recovery are now rising everywhere you look. The community's healing. It's, it, it's not going to be, won't, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's definitely moving in the right direction. Of course, before the rebuilding could begin, nearly 1.7 million tons of debris had to be removed from the damaged lots. And as of March 31st, 99% of major debris operations had been completed in Northern California. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.